I'm Nancy Drew. This is my son. For our landing, please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Thank you. So your plane was on time, your luggage arrived, your rental car was waiting, everything went without a hitch? Yep, and according to Kyler's directions, I'm within two kilometers of Castle Malloy. Now stop worrying about me and get over to the Dunhills. What time is it there? Around two. The party just started. It's gonna go all day, so I've got plenty of time. Are you driving? Yes, Ned, I'm talking on my cell phone while I'm driving, but it's okay. There's absolutely no traffic. And I think I see the gates. I gotta go. Say hi to the Dunhills for me and have fun. Without you? Yeah, right. Take care, Nancy. Oh, no! What was that? Oh, I, um, um, hello, I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here for the wedding. The wedding's been called off, so go on back to where you come from. No, wait, please, my car's in the ditch by the gate. I can't go anywhere. Walk down the road to the inn, then. Give me your keys, and I'll see to your car in the morning. I left the keys in the car. Can I at least talk to Kyler? She's sleeping. No, wait, I came all the way from the States. You cannot stay here. Go to the inn, I said. Now off with you. Please, can I come in just for a minute? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Deaf are you now? I told you, you cannot be staying here. Oh, what are you doing? That's Nancy Drew, my maid of honor. Let her in. Matt's disappeared? How can somebody you came all the way out here with to marry just disappear? He hasn't disappeared for good. You have to understand, Matt's a bit of a prankster, and the wedding is still days away. He disappeared as a prank? He adores getting people in a tizzy. I do think he's pushing the envelope this time, but... He'll show up. Mind you, it may not be till I've started down the aisle, but he'll show, saying he just wanted to make this a wedding no one shall ever forget. Why did that man at the door tell me the wedding was off? That was the caretaker, Donald Delaney. Not Donald, mind you. There's no D at the end, so it's pronounced Donal. That's the way you're supposed to spell it. Which is to say, that's the way the Irish spell it. Proud of his heritage, huh? Indeed. 
which would be tolerable if his love for the Irish wasn't accompanied by an abiding distaste for the British. Now, he rather likes me, but that's only because he considers me to be Irish, since I'm directly related to the man who used to own this place. When it comes to my British fiancé, Donal detests him, which is why he was so quick to tell you the wedding's off. He wants it to be off. He came right out and said, if I am to be married in Castle Malloy, it simply must be to an Irishman. Said my marrying a Brit would upset the fairy people or whatever he calls them. You sure the wedding shouldn't at least be postponed? I'm telling you, he'll show. You see, sometimes I hear him. You know, his voice. It's very faint and muffled, but it sounds like he's calling to me, saying things I can't quite make out. Teasing me the lout. So I know he's somewhere close by. He'll be here for the wedding. I'd stake my life on it. Of course, I remember well your penchant for solving mysteries. So if you want to give this one a go, by all means do. You could start in the nursery. It's down the hall. That's where Matt had set up his cot and was spending most of his time. Find him, Nancy. Having my maid of honor ruin this silly vanishing trick of his would teach him a lesson he sorely needs. Someone ran out in front of my car on my way here and caused me to drive into a ditch. Are you all right? Me, I'm fine. My car and my cell phone, uh, not so good. And I'm pretty sure whomever I saw dropped this. Looks like some kind of homemade doll. The clothes. It looks like Matt. And that's his ring. What did the person who dropped this look like? I didn't really get a good look. It was dark, and I was distracted, and it moved so fast. Frankly, I'm not even sure if what I saw was a person. Denal, the caretaker, when we realized Matt was gone, straight away Denal claimed Matt had been kidnapped by fairies. Which is, of course, utterly ridiculous. It was probably Matt himself you saw, tricked out in some costume and leaving that doll behind just to confound us. Well, I do hope he's enjoying himself, because as soon as we're married, that will be that. No more practical jokes. Ever. Does it bother you to be here all by yourself? Actually, Matt's best friend Kit Foley is here too. He set up a cot in the Great Hall downstairs. When did he arrive? We all came out together. I'll let you get back to your reading. The five months I spent living with you, your dad, and Hannah. And Togo, of course. That was a very happy time for me, Nancy. I can't tell you how thrilled I am you're here. I get to see you again, and I get to see Ireland? <laughs> I'm the one who's thrilled, believe me. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. I'm your maid of honor, remember? I haven't forgotten. This is useless. It's not lit. 